We are talking about young people. Now, Your Excellency, young people are the majority. So we are discussing the agenda of the majority of the people of Zimbabwe. The number from the minister is 70%. Globally, the number is 62%. 62% of the people globally are young people. So their agenda, their views matter. We also have been told that the future belongs to young people. We have also been told that young people are leaders of the future. Reject that. Young people, you are the leaders of today. Young people must lead today. Young people must define and create the future today. Today belongs to young people, and the future also to young people. So this is what we're here to talk about and celebrate today. But it's not your own power. How can young people become leaders today? How can young people be part of the economy and produce what is called the youth dividend, which is part of the demographic dividend? What is this that you need to do so that you can live today? One set of tools, knowledge, and skills. You must pursue education. You must equip yourself with knowledge. You must get skills. You can't live without knowledge. You can't live without skills. More importantly, in this economy, entrepreneurship. You must master the arts and skill of entrepreneurship. Don't prepare yourself to be a worker. Be a job creator. Be a builder of companies. <laughs> Innovation, creativity, entrepreneurship. You must arm yourself and prepare yourself by amassing knowledge, wisdom, and skill. That is the first set of skills or tools you need. The second one, second set of tools. What do you believe in? Who are you? What's your ideology? Being young, it's a state of biology. And biology is not enough. I know when you're young, you're very enthusiastic. When you're young, you learn fast. When you're young, you're hungry. But that's biology. It's not enough. What is your ideology? What do you believe in? Is young people make sure you have a value system, you have a belief system, you have an ideology, your principles and values that you defend. Find them, define them. These are the tools you need to be a leader today. These are the tools you need to be part of the economy today. The last set of tools you need. Where is your discipline? Are you disciplined? Without discipline, there is no progress. Without discipline, you can't be a leader. For you to do well in school, for you to be a good builder of jobs, for you to be a good manager, you must have discipline. So discipline is a key element of the tools you need to be a leader today as a young person. Sacrifice. We don't want this microwave culture where you want things now and here. You must have delayed gratification where you sacrifice. Sacrifice in pursuit of your agenda. Sacrifice in pursuit of your principles and values.